One of the most common questions I get from people here on the channel is, how do I get started with mathematics if my background is really weak or if it's been a really long time since I've had math? And I think a book like this is perfect for someone who is in that situation. Now, this is not a perfect book and we'll talk about why, but it's still a book worth owning and it's still an incredible book for anyone who wants to refresh certain algebra skills. The book is called Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers, and it is by Chris McMullen. So I've reviewed other books by Chris, and I think they're all fantastic, and this one is no exception. Let's go ahead and open it up, and I'll show you how this book works, and we'll talk about the pros and cons of this book. Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers, Chris McMullen, PhD. Here are the contents, and it's extremely important that we look at them in this video because this is perhaps the only con of this book. It's that it doesn't cover as much as other books. So it starts with linear equations with integral coefficients, and it has tons of examples. Wait till you see the inside of this book. Then linear equations with fractional coefficients. So it's basically the same thing, except the coefficients are fractions. And I think it's really good that Chris has an entire chapter devoted to that because that causes people so much grief and frustration. Then we have simple quadratic equations, factoring quadratic equations, formula for their quadratic equation, cross multiplying, and then systems of linear equations. And this book comes with an answer key that has answers to every single problem in this book. Let's talk about how this book is actually laid out. So in each chapter, you have some mathematical explanations and examples. So chapter one is on linear equations with integral coefficients. So it goes through and it explains everything very, very carefully. You're gonna get better explanations and more detailed explanations than what you would find in a regular textbook. So that's a big pro of this book. And then here you have more explanations and then here you have some examples and you see he shows all of the work and does his best to explain everything. He even shows you how to check your answers. And then begins the really interesting part. It's the actual exercises and you notice that there's some space between the problems. You could actually work out these problems here in the workbook with a pen or a pencil. I definitely recommend pencil so you can erase and you can just do that for all of these. I mean, look at how many problems are in chapter one. It is completely insane. And again, there's something about being able to write in the book that makes it kind of cool. Normally I'm a person who doesn't like to write in certain books because I collect math books, but this is a workbook and it's a very affordable one. So it's awesome, it's a great deal. You're gonna get so many exercises. Look at this, it just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, wow, that was a ton of problems. And the best part is you actually have answers in the back of the book to all of the problems. Now you don't have full solutions, but you do have answers and I think that's more than enough. I think it would be unreasonable to expect full solutions to this many problems and I think it's great that Chris has done that. So it's great for self-study. One minor con, and again, this is not really a con, it's just me being critical and picky, is the typesetting. So like 5x over six. Um, so I don't think Chris used LaTeX to make the book. That's okay though, it's still a great book. You're still gonna learn tons of math from this book and I really shouldn't be criticizing this book because if you need help with any of the things that are taught in this book, this book is going to explain those things and then it's going to give you tons of problems to practice and then it's gonna give you tons of solutions so you can check your answers. One of the most valuable chapters in this book is on the factoring of quadratic equations. You may think, well, factoring is easy. Well, I don't know. Factoring is one of those things that takes a lot of practice. Usually factoring is covered in courses in college such as intermediate algebra or college algebra. And then you do factoring in other math classes as well. But here you're going to get tons of examples of factoring. And look, the leading coefficient is not one, it's a four. Here it's a negative six. And so like you're going to get examples that are a little bit more challenging. And then you have answers to all of those examples. That makes this an incredible book to master your factoring abilities. I mean, so many, so many problems. It just goes on and on and on. It is completely ridiculous. I'm still turning the page. Can you believe that? There's more. It's just insane how many problems are in this book. Now these are all quadratics. Keep that in mind, right? There's no cubics here. So it's all quadratics. More and more and more. Wow. I like how he has an entire chapter on cross multiplication. And again, 
you have tons of examples and you see here you can cross multiply in all of these examples. So what's lacking here is more challenging problems and that's also lacking in the factoring section, right? You're not having cubics or quartics to factor, but this is supposed to be a book for beginners. So it's perfect if you're just starting out and you want a way to sharpen your math skills, you're gonna get that with Chris's book. And this is what the problems look like in the section on systems of linear equations. So you only have two linear equations in all these systems. He doesn't do three, but again, this book is meant for beginners and it's meant as a way to get started. So the pros and cons of this book, in my opinion, the pros are the price. This book is very, very affordable. It's not expensive compared to a regular textbook. It is just the fraction of a cost. Um, the fact you can write in it and it's a workbook is huge. I think that makes it so much easier to study, right? I can pick this up and I can take it somewhere with me and I can get a pencil or a pen and just work through it. All you need is the book and a pencil and you don't even need anything else because you have all of the answers in the book. So another pro is that you actually have answers to all of the problems that are found in this book. Another big pro is the explanations. The explanations you get for the topics that are found in this book are very good and very detailed. And that's what a person who is just starting out, you know, needs. I remember the first time I took a math class in college, I was doing stuff like this. I remember coming home and, and sitting on the kitchen table with, you know, my, my cup of tea and, you know, my pencil and paper and, you know, just trying so hard to understand, you know, how to solve simple equations. Every night I would just study math at the kitchen table and I ended up learning and doing really well. And you just need to do that to learn this kind of math. And this book helps you do that. As far as the cons, I really don't like to talk negatively about any math book. I think this is a great book and it's worth getting, but the only con in my opinion is what the book doesn't have, right? It's missing a lot of material, but again, the audience of this book is people who want to learn these things. So I do think this is a great supplement to a regular you know, algebra textbook. Um, it's always good to have several books. And so it's certainly not a replacement, but it works great as a supplement. Another con in my mind, and again, this is just me being super picky, so you can really not count it as a con, but I'm just gonna say it. I'm not really a fan of like how he does the fractions here, but that's okay, right? I mean, he made the book. This must have taken so much work to do. He has all the answers. I think it's awesome. Overall, I think this is an awesome book and it's perfect for anyone who wants to learn you know, the specific things covered in the book. Again, this book is an algebra book. It's a workbook, you write in it, and it covers these specific things. So if you're trying to learn these things, I think it's worth it. For most people, in my opinion, I think what you're gonna get out of this is the factoring. And of course, if you need help with everything else, it also helps to have a book like this. Again, the book is called Algebra Essentials Practice Workbook with Answers, and it's written by Chris McMullen, PhD. Chris has written other books as well, and I will try to leave links in the description to some of his other books. Uh, he has a book on single variable calculus that I've looked at, and he has a really good book on vector calculus, which I've looked at, and he also has some fantastic physics workbooks, which are perfect for anyone who is taking physics in college. I will leave links in the description to all of them. I'll try to remember, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Great book for someone getting started. Good luck.